What's up guys? This is Patrick again from WP Builder Helper and today we have a quick little oxygen tip. I want to give you guys a little background of what's going on. So oxygen just updated to 3.0. I put a video out about it and this is the next video following it on how to upgrade. Unlike other builders, oxygen sometimes has troubles upgrading when it comes to future additions. So I'm going to kind of show you what you have. This is a demo site that I'm using. So <clears throat> on this site, I have Oxygen 2.4.1, and I'm going to upgrade it to 3. But you, you do it a little bit different, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to walk you through it because there's so many parts to Oxygen 3.0. Some people, this is going to be very basic, and if so, you can skip it. And for everybody else, let's just follow along. So they've said that what you have to do in order to upgrade Oxygen is obviously go to Oxygen, log into the panel, and you'll get your products that you have. The new Oxygen Builder actually has three parts to it. It has WooCommerce and Gutenberg. I don't know if that will ever be just included in Oxygen, but I don't think so. For right now, those are all separate. I'm fine with installing those all separate. Not a big deal. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to oxygen and you're going to want to deactivate this oxygen now they recommend that you back this up so I'm not doing this the right way I'm just gonna warn you now this is not the right way to do it you should technically back up your site before you ever do this so that you don't lose anything but because this is a demo site I'm going to just delete it like they say to delete it once you delete oxygen it'll take it off of your directory and then we're gonna to go to add new I've created an actual oxygen uh, folder for this. So we're going to go to my oxygen folder, which I believe is on my desktop. I have tons of junk, I'm sorry. And I'm going to install oxygen 3.0. And while we're at it, we're also going to install the other parts of Oxygen, just so I can show you how that works. And we'll let this go. Sorry that this is so slow. This is on, I'm using local by flywheel, and sometimes it's not the fastest when you're working on uh, your own site. But this is going to update, and as soon as this updates, it'll be installed and we can move forward with it. But you want to go through this process. You want to completely delete oxygen out of your system and make sure that you back up anything before you do this just to make sure you're not going to break anything. But you should find that this should work perfectly um, if you're following their instructions. Alright, so there we go. It's installed, it unpacked, and it's going to allow me to activate it. So now we'll click the activate button all right, so now oxygen is activated. So let's just take a look on the front end, see what the front end looks like, see if it's actually, if it's broken oxygen. And you can see, nope, oxygen still works the same. Everything is exactly the same as before. So it didn't break anything. From here, I'll also go in and I'll add in each of these uh, add on plugins. So I'll add in Gutenberg and I'll install that now. Sorry if that takes a little while. I apologize, but it didn't. It was very quick. We'll activate that. And then we're also going to activate the WooCommerce settings also, and that should give us WooCommerce with Oxygen. As you can see, Oxygen Integration Upgrade Plugin WooCommerce Install and there we go so this is just a quick tip this is just for anybody who's unfamiliar sometimes we you run into that with oxygen uh, I'm not sure the exact reason as to why it happens but I know that sometimes it happens where you'll have to uninstall act oxygen deactivate it delete it and then reinstall the new update that's just part of the process it's not really that much of a pain in the butt but once you get used to it, it makes everything easier. So let's go to one of our pages. Let's just check it out and see. So I want to find one of the home pages I think that we want to use. 
this home page. Let's view it. Yep, so this is just a home page that I was putting together in Oxygen just to kind of show off some of the features, but everything works. This was custom built by me. It looks ugly, I know. But just to prove to you, you're not going to lose anything. Nothing's going to happen. Your stuff is still good. They do a really good job with this. But now you're going to see that you have the ability to add in WooCommerce in here. You've got Gutenberg in here. This is fantastic. And I'm going to go deeper into this later on. So if you want more Oxygen videos, you want more stuff, you want to know about Oxygen and other page builders, subscribe down below in this channel. 